Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords in our one wheat field here that uh, probably the only field we're going to have this growing season. Mostly just wanted to see it going in and explore the mechanics of it. Next year we'll set up a whole bunch of fields and hopefully by then have a lot more families available. It would be nice to have a lot of fields and a fully stocked farmhouse to uh, quickly go through them, get it all done. But I think we figured we can get four fields in this area and then I just might try a couple of, of long ones in here we'll see wheat was about the only thing that we uh, were capable of double plus here we do have some single pluses I mean it's it's possible we could yeah we could play with some flax in here it's yeah we could do something like that barley um right where our town is that is about it, unless we stuck another... Nah, I think we'll wait and get into uh, get into this province over here for the rest of that. But, yeah, if it is possible we could put in a flax field over here just so we can see a flax crop. Hmm. One thing I'm noticing, though, at least in this mode, we don't have all of our little pieces of log that were here last time. They either hauled them all away, we're at 38, or they vanished when the game was turned off and weren't here when it turned back on. So this one's been cut. So I'm thinking that has to do with uh, with the wood choppers for firewood. And the game may not even recognize this exists anymore. This was last episode. I see there's another one over here. Um, oh, over here. Got pickup sticks going on over here. So, does the game still recognize these, or is that now permanent landscaping? I am not sure. I've been watching Simi's series, and he's had the same tree out in his field for the longest time. But I don't know that any of his um, woodcutters are still focused where that tree would be. And why do you always go out to the max when I click on this? So, if I were to set you at least here then that would make these two the closest trees for this guy to go and get. So I'd be curious to see if he does that. Um, that reminds me, we were searching for a horse last episode, and I was what, I was seeing him as I was editing, just kind of roaming around. So turns out, I'm thinking it's because I bought the horse through here instead of going in and buying the horse from here. So for some reason, he didn't land anywhere near the farm. He landed out over here, which was probably the next um, stable that... They still called a hitching post, even the upgraded version. Yeah, oh, small stable. Okay, there we go. Um, this is probably the next one that I had upgraded, so it was the next one in line that the game recognized as far as stable space. So we have got three oxen and one horse right now. And that's unfortunate the way that that worked out. And I probably, I don't know of any way to relocate them. So this guy who is, well, he's on his sign. Okay, the trader is now going to have to walk all the way down to go get the horse. All the way back and then go off and do his trading. And then when he comes back, he's got to do the same thing again. So that's a little unfortunate. And I'm not sure other than destroying, I guess I could move. That might be the way around this, is just to move this guy out over here, and we'll just make a little stable space. Could do that. Um, our retinue, 10 of 10, double click, because the game, or the, yeah, the game was turned off, he apparently has decided to just camp out and waiting for me to remind him where home is. So, you guys come on back over here. That ah, didn't work. You, you, you. There we are. So you guys hit back over here, and then we'll add two more to the retinue. And then maybe we will try, uh, pull away, parking them out over here somewhere. The enemy, Baron, is now actively going after the bandit camps. Which means if a bandit camp pops in over here or over there, we're not going to get there before he gets there. So if we're already sitting right here on the crossroads, eh, we'll see how that works. I don't know what or if there is a negative effect. I do know that there is this concept of cohesion. 
So I don't know if cohesion drops as they. I don't know really how the game, what the game does with cohesion, what that means game wise. But is there a factor in here that will degrade the longer that they are away from home? That's something I'm curious about. Let's have you guys run and see how quickly you can get here. All right, so that is that. Um, I was in the game a little bit before I started, kind of checking things out, seeing how everyone was doing, and noticed that people... Oh, the game just remembered. Oh, that's right, he's claiming that one. We have got a few people to, who are out. Uh, sick. Okay, I think a lot more just happened. Um, sick. Which means, which is taken care of by herbs, and we had talked about this, but never actually got to it. So I think this is our next most important project. Do that. Does that need building? Actually, I guess it doesn't. I thought it would ask me to rebuild it. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let's get this upgrade going. Uh, right there. Um, 51 planks. We are fine on planks. Okay, that is done. Now, what all just happened? A bandit camp. So is it going to do what I just said it would do? Um, we got a chance at this one. His army's just appeared right over here. When he gets this one, they will probably start appearing from here. We could take our 10 and walk up there and see what 10 can do. That isn't what I plan on doing, but I want the uh, I want the influence. I don't want... I'm kicking around grabbing that one. Even though it doesn't have a lot of great stuff, we'll get some good leather out of it. I guess we could, I don't know, sell the iron or something. Hmm let's we're, we're almost there we're, we're halfway there how could we not so 10 if I were to walk you to let's take a good look at this they of course are always up on a hill and have the uh, have the advantage unless we took the the battle up here I kind of like that fought right here hmm but I need our guys to rest. If we went to this spot right there, that may still be too close. Let's get them to here and get them to rest. Let's do that. And get their effectiveness up and their fatigue down. And we should still have time to do that long before this guy makes the run. Okay. Double red arrows down means what? I don't know. Uh, their effectiveness is zero. Oh, and there it went. Okay, the game hadn't calculated them. All right. Do we have any red arrows up or down? Where are we? Right here. We have double red arrows down too. 42%. Let's... All right, so our fatigue was 48 before. Now we're 47. We're moving downhill curious to see it walking if we see that continue to drop so remember we're at 47 effectiveness is going to alter here and there but cohesion of 11 and fatigue of 47 he just took this land we were in this mode so we didn't get to see it but he just took this off the map there it is okay so we're going to wander through there had he done that before this triggered it's possible his troops would be coming out of here and then we would just have to give up because we, we wouldn't have the uh, effectiveness to have a chance. And we may, may still take some uh, some damage here, some some losses. Anyway, you guys were needing herbs to heal your sicknesses. And we are now in a position to start to deal with that. She's planting them up. Throw, casting those seeds all over the place <laughs> and I don't know how many others may also be their taxation only of a negative ones into the next month interesting huh so it's not gonna rack up that hard good so families I'm looking to see if here's our people 
We know we have 36 men, 18 women, 10 retinue. We don't know how many of them are sick. So there's not a lot of reporting in the uh, uh, in, in the game yet. I don't know if there will be, if that's just you know something hasn't been worked on yet. And I, I'm really curious to see a, a snapshot of this game two years from now and see what all more has been added to it. But we've got a church to upgrade. We've got a tavern to get in. We've got just lots of little maintenance things. We spent the last two episodes doing a lot of battling. And that kind of uh, distracted me. What if we were to do... Eh, let's wind around a little bit and then work our way into this, this Y. Pull that one back and go back over there. There we go. And... Can we smooth that a little? It's not... There we go. There, that kind of rounds it out a bit. Alright. You're going to do that. Not going to build any of this, you know, the, the, the perimeter walls at this point. Um, church, to upgrade you, we need roofing tiles out of clay. Alright. So we've got clay over here. We've got one family. I guess until the field is planted, we're kind of in limbo. And I assume they're they're casting seed right now. Perfect. So we go here. Oh, we just finished. We just went into growth. Alright. So they're they're still they're still pretending, but effectively we're we're growing right now. They're just finishing up their uh, their uh, planned course I don't believe we need to be here now now if we were doing what we will likely be doing later when we have taken the the points whatever they turn into with the update for trading and for getting better deals assuming that both of those still exist um, I will at some point set trades coming in for grains and just give us, I want to maintain 20 in town at all time, or 10 in town at all time, for all, well, for at least these three. And hopefully we will have chipped off as much of this 12 as we can, however the next mechanic's going to work. And they'll just bring in and top off what we can do ourselves. We'll put a big surplus out of her here and cancel that so no more will be coming in but as we start using up all the barley as we're making booze making beer then the traders can start to supplement it until the next barley crop comes in or as we start to use up the flax they can keep you know so there's a way of just kind of supplementing what you're able to make on your own and it may well be that for now we'll be doing that kind of a thing for this town until this town is up and running and is actually making all of those things. Then we'll be using the logistics, the pack station, from probably from here to grab the excess that we can't grow and bring it back. Trading something that they need that we're making a lot of, you know, armor or something for their, their, uh, their citizens. Now, one thing about the pack station, but it'll be a while before we get to it. Um, another couple of episodes, maybe, before I really start building over there. Uh, construction finished, and I need to remember to go over there and look at our troops. So pause. But um, pack station, what it is, is a it's a two-way route, a two-way trade. We're bartering between City A and City B. It can be located in either one. You're going to grab A's goods, bring them over, trade them for B's goods, bring them back. So you could put all of your pack stations here and not make the new little town which is broke and can't afford anything, let alone buying a mule, to foot the bill. Let these guys foot the bill and go over there and bring them back and go over there and bring them back or whatever we're doing. So pack station, think about that from your main main town. Your main town's the one that's got the funds right now. Um, troops. You're on your way over here, and you are 44. So we are slowly chipping away at that fatigue. We were 47. We're 48 when we first started, I'm pretty sure. Uh, cohesion is 17. I still don't know what that means. So it's not like they're, become, they're becoming uh, 
better teammates as they go. But I'll get you guys over here, get your fatigue down, then have you walk in and that high, high point make the attack. Let these guys make the trip across the whole stinking map and then we'll take them. <laughs> yeah, love it. Okay, so we want to get some roofing tiles coming. Whether we do that this episode or next, we need to get the process started. So industry, I think, goes out in this area. Which means we probably want to get some of our housing kind of stretching down into here too. So there's less walking to do to go to work. So that's a thing. We're working on these. We now have four families available. Um, is there anything else? Well, first thing, let's just get some folks into... Is this clay? Mining. There it is, clay. Clay mine would be really nice to see right there. Uh, construction finished, burgers plot, burgers plot, another roller, bandit. Okay, we're not behind anything. Let's get one family into here, into the clay mining pit, and start giving us some um, second from the bottom, some clay down there. So stone, we did have some stone mine. We got 51. Okay, over here, negative one for taxes is all. All right, that's... It's doing good. I never saw anything above 75 when it switched over, so we may be uh, done with our uh, our um, two per month for a while until we get caught up. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you were to click here, and it's actually easy if you grab that and pin it, you can pass over these and see how you're doing. So there's our firewood. Here's our food and food variety. And here's our clothing. Now, my understanding is this not so much has to do with how much firewood is available, per se. And it says 17. Uh, drop into here. Where is firewood? 131. Look at that. It says 131 in, the, in our, our town's stores, in a sense, in our, our storage. In... You know, somewhere within the, the city limits, we have 130 firewood. Yet, within our our market stall system, we're only able to handle 18. And we need more than that for all of these homes. So we are under-supplying the, the city because we don't have enough market stalls. Uh, fire, uh, firewood stalls. Not so much that we don't have enough in town. So we need to find a way to convince them to put up another firewood stall. There is one. So, in fact, that's because these folks here, one of them worked the firewood cutter. You're pedaling, but you're pedaling over there. Did we put another family in here? We did. Where are you? Okay, that, that second family opened up another firewood stall. So, a third family or a third firewood or woodcutter's lodge would then potentially qualify for yet another stall and even another stall wherever he's located. And that will increase the number of firewood stalls in town and will increase the number of, um, or the, the quantity of, of uh, distribution available. So, that clues you in on why certain buildings cannot seem to ever get enough firewood or ever get enough food or what have you we only have one clothing distributor that is whoever's working in the storehouse no i take it back we have two the storehouse will distribute the leather but it's also being made at the tannery who could distribute the leather so there must be two clothing stalls somewhere let's take another peek at that you are a food stall and your firewood. There's Lorenz over there. Swing back past the, the garden farm. And we have our the only clothing stall that I'm aware of. And you have got 20 leather in you. So you are a food stall. You are a food stall. You are firewood. Hmm. Where is your stall? You have set up a firewood stall. That's not right. Because you had a firewood stall right here, too. 
We have two firewood stalls here firewood, that are actually firewood. both being used. Oh. Okay, you're a warehouse worker, but you're only dealing with firewood. Interesting. So if we got another family in here, that one may set up their own booth and deal with leather. Tools, planks, stone, firewood. Okay, but well, that clues you in on how that system works in the game. And it takes a little finagling and fine-tuning. I mean, kind of be aware. I'm curious here. You, these folks run a great big vegetable garden. They could potentially have their own food stall. Because they'll have so much food. General. 15 out of 22 in their, oh, their generic storage. Does that, is that different from the pantry? Hmm. What is the 15 of 22? The pantry, you'd think of food. There's 16, there's 16. Okay. So there's 15. So eight spears and seven shields. Okay. Which is the wrong number. That's that's a mistake that the, uh, the game is miscalculating. Gave them all those. So that may, those kind of mistakes may be why we had so much trouble getting our 20 troops. It's possible. Although, let me think about that one more time. Um... You, you're four and four, but your general storage is seven and eight. Yeah, that that hurts my brain. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to work through that. Let's stop talking so much and start doing some things. I'm running nice and slow, so I've got the privilege of talking and rambling and not harming the game too much but I want to houses and market let's give these guys new places to put market like things and I'm thinking somewhere in the middle so I wish I knew what else was going to go in here and I'm pretty much committed to uh, not being able to stretch open anymore I didn't think about that I should have filled this up before I put these in in case I needed to move that road over just a tiny bit give myself a little more room yeah hmm Okay, so if we were to do something really wonky like that, there's four more stalls kind of in the middle of town. And I was asked if this changes with Snap to Roads as far as setting things like this or house points or what have you. I don't believe so. I went from there and he's still doing the same wonkiness, even though I'm trying to make it stop early and it's still snapping even though snap to roads is off and when you go into roads itself you don't even get the option to undo that so if i went there two or four points okay i've got to go there three or four points there's four or four so pull back a little bit wider there's five let's go to there now i had a pretty good five all right well do Oh, I, I don't want to do that many because it makes it harder to get them to naturally put pieces or put uh, market stalls in other places. There's three more. So potential three, six, seven, eight, nine through this middle stretch. We've got three out over here. We're going to want another three probably over here because there's not much more that you can do over here as far as uh, uh, building things. So that's a good thing to do with these little... These little uh, triangles. That's two. And you are complaining because of what? Actually, I don't know. If I were to click, that's three of four. Okay, well, let's do pull back and do that and come back this way. That gives us two. Why is it red? Click again. I'll put, give it the fourth point. It won't let me. That is interesting. It doesn't like this Maybe this point is just too tight. I'll bet you that's it. There. Yeah, that's what it was. It, it didn't know what to do with this. The lines were probably touching. Okay, so do that. That. No, made a liar of me. I guess it wants a certain amount of space. Boy, you are one finicky little booger. All right, we'll do three right there. <laughs> All right. So we just rolled over into June. And... Just to check on over here, we've got... Oh, right there. So, what do we have? Yield zero so far. We have 92 days left. Uh, 
to harvest or until the harvest. We'll have to see what that means. I think that's how many days till September, which is the beginning of the harvest. So I think that means until harvest. Um, crop rotation, not going to get into that right now. And not much more growth of 8%. That's about all that, uh, that I can see. Here's the burned field that I mentioned last time. So if you know anything specific about burning fields in the game, I, I, mean, I, I know lots about them in real life, but uh, in the game... What does that uh, what does that mean? Now we have got 19. We have no artisans, which won't count in here. So 19 out of 24. So we should have five houses available. No, plus two more. Oops, what I press? Get out of that. Oh, and I've got pause. I got I got troops out there. Plus two more. So 19, 20, 21 out of 24. I should have three empty houses right there. Okay, that does work. Now, you guys should be plenty rested. You're sitting over here. Thankfully, we didn't bring those in. We've got a happy green up arrow going on. So click on you. We're there. Cohesion of 15. Everything seems really happy. Let's see if 10 can pull this off. Hate to spend the, the, uh, the coins to rebuild them, but that just... Now, I don't want you guys to trigger like right here... And we're going to go uphill, and they're going to go uphill, and we'll both be in bad shape. Let's take you guys, hold the control, track you across, move you on up, and... Now, we'll try and... Did that even work? It didn't. I touched that. I may have canceled it. Okay. Uh, we're selected. We're going to hold the control and move you over and up to there. There we go. Okay. Seems like we were talking about roofing tiles. We're going to get clay out of here. And we need to set up industry, the clay furnace. Where does he go? We do have a nice little area in here. We got a natural road. Where, where does... Oh, that's, that's a logging road I threw in right at the beginning to help get into this area. Was this already clear? Did, did we clear that out? I, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think I would have skipped an area. So that must have already been like that. Um, that's probably an effective way to get in. There, or they'll take this road in. Sure. Don't know. Well, this is going to be used up and be done. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to buy more clay later. Hmm. So is this, what I'm getting at is, is this clay furnace a temporary thing or is it going to be used for a while? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll just, what are you? Oh, little trees that have been planted. And it's showing them this time. Oh, fascinating. Because it would not show these trees. These trees that were left over. So apparently they're not going to continue to grow. Whereas these trees are. We don't have a forester yet, do we? I don't remember putting one in. How did these plant? Interesting. I've not seen that before. Okay, well let's do something like that. And when this is all done, I could grab onto a point right here and just take a road out to the main road and continue using that if I want to. We can get you built. And let's go see what these guys are up to. Have we... I'm lost. Have we triggered anyone? We have not. So they don't know we're here yet. Okay. Um, yeah. So the 16 of them is 10 of us, but we are much better armed. You guys are still making the run, but you're actually getting there. I gotta stop dilly dallying here. So from there, let's take you guys right in. Well, to here if I can. And let's take you five wide. We'll do that. You're going to move in. You're going to go in defensive. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Keep you guys well defensive. You have triggered. And you're coming out to us. Good. You're not going after these guys. Where are they? Over there. Okay. So, but you're going to get there quite quick. You are. I know I'm not going to run. Are they running? They're just walking with style they're heading this direction they're they're 
they're aiming at us and they're going to veer as we continue to move distance wise looks like halfway point is right about here and that's probably pretty close to where i set us so now they're going to drop down on us they're going to have a high ground don't like that okay pause rethink things you're here let's take you to here let's grab you and send you instead right here too deep right there pivot there you are let them climb up that last little leg and that'll make for a pretty decent view of the battle okay anything else going on at home that's super important right now we have plenty of buildings to be working on and we have berries being picked we have animals being hunted I think they can run without us for a little bit and by using the revenue uh, retinue not the revenue <laughs> um, instead of our own peoples they can continue running the town which is really nice okay can I yeah I could pull out of that but let's just leave it I'm gonna let you guys sit there we're gonna watch okay there is no fatigue so we're in good shape there so is there a better spot we don't have to not really just for the sake of being able to see it better let's set you right here then just like so they're gonna come toward us we are still set for stand your ground spread out makes soldiers harder to hit with missiles and makes the unit run slightly faster oh this isn't with the normal our normal militia any other new things hold stop movement and reform the formation okay all right so here we go they're gonna start running and boom and most of them are not doing any fighting i wish that these guys would move in Hmm. which means these five are taking the whole brunt we may very well lose some of these we're at 10 and 16 and i expect we're going to be down at we're down to nine i expect only five or six are going to make it back very possible but we'll see how this goes we're down to 12 we're still at 9 11 9 10 and 9 we're peeling them away we're still at 9 are they going to give up they're going to break all right we lost one unfortunately but the others are going to awkwardly run through us and away they go we got the influence we just might be able to grab one more province before this is all said and done. I'm really kicking around this one just to give us a, a unit of three. Whether we ever get that truly built or not, I don't know. Uh, another ruler's army was sighted. We'll go take a peek at where they're at. And so they are now turning and going off the map. The mercs have given up and they're not his actual army. So they're not returning home so to say they're just they're just leaving their job's done um pull into here and we were going to move this because the horse was in it so i think that's a job that we could do i don't know if we're building a whole lot more right now so let's get you moved get the horse over here maybe get another horse bot um eventually we are not gonna build right in here so this could be our little stable area so spin you, opening is that way, pull up a little roof for you. Didn't quite get it aligned properly that last time. Any, you know, might look better. Since we're not really perfectly aligned, let's make it intentionally not aligned. Let's do something like that. There's a bunch of different stables around here, which are going to be the horses as well as the oxen. And there may be other things to do with them. Maybe this forest is going to get... Uh, going to get uh, cut up here at some point all right so what are we actually doing forest wise you guys were you guys were working on this they did not come and grab these i have a feeling these are permanent decorations right now you are whom you are firewood cutter okay prove me wrong you're gonna prove me wrong aren't you yeah look at that walking right over to it where are you gonna bang on it right in the middle or are you gonna come up and debranch it there you go okay they just might do it i'll leave them here to clean all this up and let's get these guys now continuing to uh to cut away at wherever we're heading toward 
Where is that? This group here, we're going to eventually head over to our new little town. And a pathway through here would, would be kind of nice. Let's do that. Advanced, right there. Work area. Let's keep it narrow, though. Let's think about that. A new message. Okay, pause. I want to come in through here. So let's dial you down and take out a path through here. And I'll just try to remember to move that through. And we'll cut kind of a pull away a little bit wider than this. Kind of like one of these. Right through here somewhere. I think I like that. New message. We will take that to our own treasury. All right. And how are we doing tax-wise now? We had a negative one before. We have a negative five right now. We're at 66. Until we get more booths out here, more variety, we may not ever see that 75 again for a while. That's possible. All right, so we were working on this, and we're practically there. Wow. These guys do their jobs. Great. Um, we need to get these guys back home again. This time we need to actually do it. So head into here at a run. And see if we can get you loaded up with a team of 12. These guys have given up and they're leaving. That camp is gone. Any hint of where it was? No. Oh, and wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we did send them there. Okay. You are just a stone. All right. You are a stone. I've never actually noticed stones on the map besides the ones that you can you can break up in a stone camp. There's some stones on the map. So <laughs> okay, I'm going to start looking at the map again. Um, just looking at is these, these are the kind of pathways I was talking about long ago. It looks like looks like uh, animal trails right through the woods where the animals would have tracked around. It's not an actual path, walking path. Just kind of moves through the, the forest and where animal migrations would have happened. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, back home. Back to work. So let's set two more manors in here, or two more burgages in here. That, 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 that name's going to be burned in my brain forever. I, yeah, to me, manor is equal to a, a house now. And <laughs> this game has broken my brain. All right, so H gets us house and drop in like so it's gonna make me do funky things here isn't it if I were to go there okay that kind of works and kind of doesn't so we're gonna get a house here that does not allow us or we do a double what happens if I hit negative or um, yeah we, we lose our our workshop symbol so that will only be two houses okay or we just have a house. Or we move the camp. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Is it time to move the camp? I mean, eventually, this is kind of awkward. This is going to be more town buildings here soon. The camp was meant to get us going. So maybe we do move the camp, though. We still won't be able to build until this pile of logs go away. And there's, there's 17 of them there. Um, Long-term firewood or wood industry planking and and firewood and what have you is probably through here which is probably going to happen off of these roads here we don't have we, we just moved the <laughs> we just moved the uh, the stable out of here but that had the horse in it so that's why um let's do that let's put firewood or logging out over here um remind me logs are stored where they are building, building, building. They're in that, that void over there on the top right. And they can enter anywhere. So logs out toward the front seem better. Like so. These can go quite deep without taking any trees down. So right in there, right there. Let's do that. I like that. We've got the resources now to start moving things around a bit. And we're kind of a lull in our building at the moment before we start... Uh, building tier twos which we might set a few of them before we uh, call this episode done um that one soft hip 
Well, let's put another saw pit nearby. And spin you around. You're on this side. Something just happened. It always does when I'm in building mode. If we do something like that, the logs are stored right here. They can latch on, drag it over, drop it off. It's right in line, right? How far in line is that? It is inward and off toward the corner a bit. So that pile is going to be sitting right there. So if I kick you back a little, now you'll be a little bit better in line. And we're not taking any trees out. I like it right there. So these two are going to go in. No rush. And then we'll set these in. So I want to think about some tier twos. And in order to get our next point, we're going to need just two. Just two tier twos. We're getting a good base of tier ones. We're going to be turning a lot of these into twos, then a lot of those twos into threes. By the time we get out to you know medium village and, and larger village and working our way through, we're going to need still a bunch of tier ones and a bunch of tier twos and a bunch of tier threes. Threes. So we're not just going to upgrade everything to threes. We're still going to have a bunch of ones out there. What was the noise? Um, another berries, army berries, treasury change Be registered freaky. 112 that was what we got back it was the the two building projects okay clay furnace and the small stable are done all right so you moved out over here let's get i eventually want a second horse but i'm not ready to do a bunch of trading right now so we'll leave that what do we have in here you are none you are two of our oxen you are two horse and oxen so three oxen over here before we buy any more oxen we're going to get another stable out over here and two oxen in this area so let's just get that one going right now logistics and a what are we calling that a hitching post and right behind looks pretty good turned this way i would say and problem is i don't know which one actually has the door it seems to me when we first set this one up it was aimed that way just like that and i put the door on this side that's my guess i sure hate to oh, okay wait a minute we can get in from both sides the door is actually over here yeah the animals are in this half so we would want the reverse of that so we need to actually spin it to there theoretically and place it right there we'll give it a try if it doesn't work then yeah we'll, we'll move it somewhere move it back until we get it right but i was wanting some houses down in here somewhere maybe they would remain as tier one and maybe they would just be houses so they wouldn't be dealing with Someone coming home, though I don't know if anybody ever comes home to collect the eggs. I, it says passive. Peddling, they may be selling their own eggs. So you have chickens and you are um, peddling. Don't know where you were peddling from. Okay, can I do... No, it just says peddling. So apparently you're selling eggs. That's your egg basket. I guess I'm not quite seeing what's happening there. Over here, next house has chickens and people. You're all transporting. You here had chickens. Yeah. Are you doing anything special? You are debranching a tree, guiding an ox, and fetching water. Okay, goats. What do goat people do? They are doing their forestry work. Okay. And these goat people are mining and going home. Okay. So this is the only one that actually was doing something different that's peddling and I don't quite get the peddling because there's no booth there so how you were peddling I don't know maybe that means you're just bringing eggs to a food stall so that they could distribute them might be a thing but if we did several of these without any backyards didn't deal with any of these distractions they could just be out here mining and logging and then we can set these houses just for the logging camp and the the uh, saw pit. I kind of like that. Now, where do we want them and what was that? <laughs> okay, there's a great big deer walking through the woods over there. Um, we were telling them to clear out trees somewhere in here. 
I think that's our path. And have they been dropping trees in here? There. Right there. So this is going to be our pathway. Um, let's set a road. Let's start a road. How? Maybe we are something like... Pull out as a diagonal, right? Yeah. Come on, pull back down. So something like that. And then adjust you and round you out a little bit. Be more like that. Okay. So do that one. I'm thinking we come off of here. Continue straight with that road. Then start our turn and come back in and snag it like that. All right. So if we can log out this area, these folks wanting to head that direction. I don't know why they would. They were kind of already there. But <laughs> these folks coming in would, would uh, have I lost it already? A little further down. Would start their turn right there and go in. Okay, so that gives me a place to think about some more housing and a new well. Let's go there. Oh, look at that. Right here in the Y, even the travelers can can stop and get a drink. Perfect. So let's pinpoint that a little bit more. All right, we got a well in there. And any other wells in the area? We'll follow this road and get into the well probably out over here. And we want wells where we want um, them to be able to... Uh, put a fire in our manor out or in our tavern. I don't know where the, the tavern's going to end up, so let's not go to this side. You already have a well right in here somewhere, right there. So out to this side. Let's well in here. This guy could burn. These are kind of going away. Let's just head into some place like that. That? That. Let's do that. How far down? I can get you to right there. Okay. This road may disappear, but that one will, will not, so that'll be fine. Okay, so we have a well in this area. We have another well in that area. Let's set some more houses in. Whether they get built anytime soon doesn't so much matter. It's a reminder that we're going to industry down into this area, and we're going to support that industry somehow. So right on the Y. Well, future market area. You, to you, to you. There's four. That'll do it. Future market area. And we'll just probably have to manually move them down into here. Something else goes right here. I don't know what. And no storage space left for production soft hat. Oh, that... Is that real? That's actually real. Ah, let's pull a family out of there. Okay. So we have another family available. Um, family's available. What else do we need over here? Berries are doing great. Let's put a third family in. Um, animals are... Mm, I think who, the amount we have in here right now is pretty much keeping us... Yeah, I think that it's dropping at a level that we're going to get to 15 with just this one family. So we'll leave them alone. Who else could use some help right now? Firewood-wise, I think we had plenty in stock. Um, pull away. There we go. So fuel, 139. We don't need to have more. Unless we... I heard a rumble. Did I hear a rumble? Like thunder way off in the distance. That was weird. I missed any other bandit camps, right? These messages that all pile in at the same time and I only noticed the last one. Doesn't look like it. He's taken that. And uh, pull out... There we go. So, they're coming in. In fact, I can go ahead and disband them right now. And do that. Um, taxes wise, we're at 72. We're in June. Soft pit is finished. Good. So, 72. We have a chance of getting to 75 by the end. Um, yeah. Is there any way to measure the amount of influence we're getting from 
10% tithe? Probably not. Church doesn't give us any more information. I notice the bell sound changes every every time you turn the game back on. So I can set it to that one. And next time it'll be back to the other one. Just like Snap to Roads always returns. So one of these days the game will truly save your settings. Saw Pit is unmanned. We are full. And... We will try to use up that one log and then delete that. You have got families in your 19 of. Let's take these families out. And we'll employ them over here. In fact, we can go ahead and get you uh, started, I'm guessing. The planks we know will store over in here. That was the other issue from last time. New mercenary companies. Treasury. Tithe paid. Uh, goods given away 14. We were at 550, 555. A lot of bells. 30 uh, July. I don't think we made our 75. So 20 ish per month. That's going to take a while. Now, more food means more tithe, means more influence. So as we grow, that should also grow. Um, storehouse, I was asking, do we want to keep it here? Or do we want to put housing here? Do we want a break in the housing for other things? A storehouse, a something, and a something along this road. Give it the road a reason to be here. What other things are there that are needed? So gathering, none of these. Uh, we do have charcoal eventually and apiary, so bees. Um, the mine stuffs, the logistics, granary, and storage. Um, that's the map. <laughs> I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay, so we will have a communal oven. We will need to put in a windmill. And I'll show you that one right now. There is a percentage. See, 93% windmill efficiency. As you get into the trees you're, and it blocks the wind, your efficiency will drop. As you get into, I'm guessing, low areas versus t uh, real high areas. So, does the efficiency drop down here, I wonder? Right into there. Now, still 92%. Now, 34% over there, because it's completely surrounded by trees. Ah, there's quite the, uh, the example. So, we will be wanting a windmill, and I suppose that can go in at any point, because we do have a wheat crop coming in. This is all going to be, be uh, fields. This is an area. It doesn't have to be next door. They're going to bring the wheat in. They're going to bring it into the farm. They're going to thresh it. The grain will then potentially, I've seen it go both ways, head into the granary or straight, straight to the windmill. So somewhere near the granary wouldn't be a bad idea. Is that something that... I think it's counting potential trees that we're going to, going to grow. There are no official trees here, but maybe it does in this sense count these guys. This is going to be surrounded by trees soon. And we got another noise now that I'm in building mode. Where does the windmill go? You know, over here by the church. It's kind of interesting. Oh, all kinds of noises out there. Um, why are you red? Are you red for real? You are red for real. Is there something over here? Hmm. 92%, I kind of like the idea of it being by the church. I don't know. Kind of a, something interesting to see on your way in. Now, I can't... You're red for some reason. I don't know why. That circle's not touching anything. If I pivot you, it doesn't help. Slightly that way. I think I'm just going to sacrifice one tree. It's going to be uprooted and get that in right there. Aimed. Um, don't know which way the wind blows when we storm, but let's do that. 92% is close enough. And what have I been missing? A well, a hitching post, food stall, logging camp. Okay, so get you upgraded, though I still don't know which way you're going to upgrade. Uh, pull out. So right now you walk in this way. 
and your storage is over here. I think it's a good sign. I think that we're going to have the opening here to walk in and our covered storage is going to be over here. So let's get you upgraded immediately. Take two of that, two planks to do that. You guys are all kind of wandering down. You have a long way to go to build these things and to work in these things. How much clay have we actually brought in yet? Click away and I think it's that one. 42 already. Wow. Um, so I'm still asking the question, where does storage go? Does it go in here? This your houses. This is leaving. Storage would be central to the markets. Not a lot of storage goes in the markets, unlike the granary, but some of it does. All right, let's leave you. Let's leave you there. You'll be central to what we're doing at the moment. So in that case, I will go ahead and upgrade you. And we'll take you to highest. Um, this one, does it default to highest? Medium does not. Okay. Uh, another well is finished. So we're getting all those wells done. Which means we've just plowed through an awful lot of the, uh, of the little projects they gave them. Did we ever set those manors in? We did not. Um, I can't even find the road. <laughs> we're in this area. Ah, uh, there we are. So let's make sure that it's through here that we're taking these trees out. And actually, we're not taking any more trees out. That's why nothing's changed. So you are down. Did the logging camp? Yes, you did. Let's get three families in there. And let's set your position to... Where are... There you are. To... Uh, pull out a little bit. We're going to put housing in now. But we're not going to have any backyards. So we effectively could have some trees in the background of these houses. That would look pretty good. Let's only go this wide. So we already have three logs on the ground, four or five logs. Okay, that's nice. We'll come back and get these later. Um, yeah. So let's do that. I wish I could shape this in an oblong. All right, so you guys are going to pull these logs out real quick. And... Because I can't set the manners in without taking the trees out. I'm pretty sure. Let's let's try it. H. So not manners. Burgage plots. Burgage plots. So keep the corner, or use the corner. I think we'll keep the corner alone. We'll go only about as far as my road goes there. Okay. So there, and as deep as there. Can I get three? I can get four in there. Pull you back. Take you to about there. There we go. Yeah. So something like that. There's four of them. Um, cost of eight. It doesn't say I'm uprooting any trees. But I don't know if... Yeah. I'm going to let them do their job. It's very possible the game's going to recalculate that space and that tree that just dropped will just be a waste. It'll just vanish. I think think it will do that. I think I've seen that before. So we're not going to add more manners at that point. More burgage plots at that point. So yeah, I'm going to rename this uh, this place that I live in, the, the Rambler Manor. <laughs> Alright. Let's think about some tier 2s. And what does that actually mean? It means just 4 logs. Okay. We have 23 logs. We can handle 5. 23 uncommitted logs. So we could handle five. These guys, let's get a single double property going and it automatically defaults to highest, it does not. Okay, so what was the one that went to the highest? I, you, they wanted to make sure that the storage got done quick, okay. So that double, these three singles. Upgrade, upgrade and Upgrade. So we're going to do this block right now uh, into tier twos. Eventually, these will all be tier threes as well. And I don't know what to do with this guy. So we'll see if. Well, let me know if what you think of as another industry besides the tavern that would work really well with four people doing the job and not burning us out of uh, out of. Our town's materials. We are going to have a significant supply of iron constantly coming in. So the blacksmith might be the second double property. That might be the one. 
So Tavern and Blacksmith. So what are your thoughts on that, those of you who have played the game before? Those of you who haven't, I guess you'll just play along with me and we'll both figure it out in the end. So these guys are going to upgrade. We could do a fifth because we've got more logs in there now. It's four per. No, let's not. Let's leave those so we've got the ability to jump into another job later if we need to. And I'm probably near that hour mark. Let's spend a little more time getting the retinue um, tuned back up and ready for whatever's going to happen next. So we're going to add... I have enough to, to do my 12. So boom, boom, boom. We're at 12 of 12. I could put another garrison in and get 24 if we wanted to. We still have a little bit. Another 100... And five, and we'll be able to start on our next town. It takes 250 to do that. All right, so let me set these guys' uh, um, outfits, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's rally these guys and let them uh, do a little fashion show for us. Yeah, come on out here, guys. Show us, show us your, show us your your, your outfits. Uh huh. Look pretty good there. <laughs> Let's tell these guys to preemptively go and sit right on that border. I lost them. I gotta be in this mode. So, there we go. You guys, come on over here. Walk to here. Now, where is here? A nice wood. It is. You guys can sit over in here and just kind of see who is making the trip and say howdy all right so they are doing that we have got quite a few building projects ahead of us in upgrading all of these housing plots and we've moved this we have you operating we have you operating we did or did not clear up those logs how fast are three families in a in a place going to work they're actually doing a pretty good job in here aren't they we could use more oxen that's what we needed so you are being upgraded so i can't do a thing right now all right so let's kick you up make that happen we'll have to buy another oxen next time okay so that's that um anything else to do to shut this down you could go away now, it takes what to build one of these? It takes two logs. So if I were to simply say demolish, are you sure? I think demolish. There aren't two other logs sitting anywhere. Did they add to this? That's 22. I think we had 19. So I'd say it probably did add to it. So this has to go away. And then I want to set... Two more of you guys in. See if I can do that. This road cuts through here. Let's keep it consistent. Road, alt, you go away. Okay. Pull you out and H, you're here to here to there. I think that's a winner. Okay. Build you. So all of those were down to one log left. All right. So all those are in the queue for next time. This is growing. We are about a fourth of the way through. Yield is at three at this point. So that means a yield of 12, maybe, by the time that's all done. Uh, yeah, 25% growth. Okay. So a yield of 12, if it gets to the end. That's what it's looking like now. We'll see if that actually works out that way. 65%. Uh, we're now at a negative two accumulating down there for taxation. So we need to get more market stall variety to try to overwhelm that or something else an upgraded church might boost that a bit a tavern may boost that a bit so there's other ways to do it question mark work area is empty work area oh we ran out of berries it is july and we ran out of berries did we bury ourselves out Ooh. Mm. i don't want to shut down a, a food stall but we picked everything. And it's July. It hasn't said anything about a drought. Hmm. Don't know what to do about that. Do we sacrifice a food stall? I guess we have to. We pull one out of you. There we go. Can we put another into you? And maybe gain a food stall that way. 
In fact, do we put a third? You're still, we're still working on you. We'll go with that. Anyway, I gotta shut this down. So, rain's coming, winds are not, so no more lightning on its way. And I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.